Headline, Nancy Reagan refused to help Dying Rock Hudson get AIDS treatment. Is that true? It's, 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 a, it's a story that is like, uh, like, I was reading it and was like bringing back all these memories because the interesting thing is, it's a story about, I don't know if this, this should be on her hands or not, but uh, how Rock Hudson back in those days, he, there in France they had treatments that were far more advanced than ours along the road of like acknowledging AIDS and how to treat it. Rock Hudson was like in line to get that treatment, but he was blocked at an international level because this was a French hospital and there was red tape tying it up. And there was a point where somebody had called the White House and said, this is a friend of Nancy's from the acting day, a friend of not Ronald's. Uh, uh, he, if, if a call from the White House might be able to get him through to this French hospital. And the, there was a, there, so they're, you know, they're, th th this incident is like sort of pulled apart and you're talking to each person on the chain. They're, they're the person that, answered that call and went to Nancy Reagan and said, this is the situation with Rock Hudson. He acknowledges he's, he's on the side of like, this is not about AIDS being uh, uh, stigmatized uh, or anything like that, that it was about objectivity, egalitarianism. Oh God, if we did a favor for our Hollywood friend, can you imagine? Lots of other people, of course, making the very valid observation that right. give, give me a break. If Bob Hope had colon cancer, you wouldn't fucking bomb Tibet. Hey, yeah. <laughs> but, but, um, just, just to get your frustrations out. Uh, but, 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 but wasn't it wasn't it Rock Hudson's uh, death from AIDS what softened the Reagan stance on it? Like, wasn't that the first time they kind of acknowledged? Well, it? Well, this is the thing. Is that that's what got me really thinking about this because part of this article is it's not it's not all just like sort of slinging and you know TMZing about like uh, oh Nancy Reagan like didn't like it. It goes into you know conjures these memories like you a lot of you guys like. You know, it's like, like, like I was on the playground and Rock Hudson died of AIDS and the, the, like the, the two things that happened were just a huge avalanche of horrible, horrible jokes. Just like that's how I most remember it in my brain is like the 10,000 awful, uh, even by then standards, let alone today, is like horrible, horrible jokes about this guy Rock Hudson that none of us had ever heard of because we were kids on a playground. But it's just like Rock Hudson this, Rock Hudson that, knock knock who's there, Rock Hudson's gay, and it's underwear, and so like, like, it's just like everything. And it was really there were just gay jokes because yeah. no one understood what AIDS was or what it meant. I, I remember a bunch, and I won't repeat them because they're terrible. Yeah. So, so it was like it was that, that that it's like it's 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 a sad, wistful kind of story because you remember like this guy, like it's it's it, like, like you kind of wish that he could have known because obviously he went out fighting and scared. And probably ashamed, probably deeply ashamed. And like to think, you know, he's like he's sort of the Randy Quaid in the uh, Independence Day. Like, like, like it's like I'm like like he's he's his he, because everyone acknowledges historically and in fact academically that like Rock Hudson showing up on the radar at that time managed to nudge the meteor that could have destroyed so much more, yeah. you know, a little bit out of its trajectory, it's that people had to start talking about it. There was no choice left anymore. And so all, all of that leads to dollars and cents going and, and, and you know, whatever. Um, so it was, a, it was a weird day, I think, for a lot of people because Ronald Reagan's long dead and it was like Nancy Reagan died and she was actually kind of a, I mean, she, so it was a weird day for a lot of people with a lot of gay friends who died back then uh, because we were sort of in a, in a, and then and now she's dead and it's like, do you spit if you're a 55 year old gay guy? Do you go like, fuck you? I hope, I hope it, I hope it hurt <laughs> when you died. Stop me if I've mentioned this before on the show, but like I, like 20 years after I was in The King and I, I went and met the leading lady uh, who you know, was 20 years later. So now I'm like three feet taller, and I was 11 when I last saw her. And I was 31, and she was 41 when I knew her. And now she's 61, and we met with a great talk. And at one point, I said like, "How is so and so?" And I, I mentioned all the uh, the dancers, and she's like, "They're all gone." And, and I said, all of them? I go, what about so-and-so? What about so-and-so? They're like, they're all dead, Jeff. They all died like a few years later. And I said, the only dancer in the show that wasn't dead was the only straight guy that was married to one of the women dancers. She goes, everybody else is gone. And she goes, also, that's just one show. She goes, all of Broadway died. Like, and and not, not just our dancers, but engineers and artists and, you know, like doctors and like a huge generation. And I, 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 I'm not the first person to say this or put this... Uh, theory out there 
But I think the idiocracy that we're living in right now and the, the, we, the, 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 the candidates that are running to rule the world right now, I think a lot of it, we never recovered from a, a giant generation of smart people dying like at, like at once. Like in the same way that England never quite recovered from all of its, you know, intelligent men all all dying in two wars over a couple generations, and you don't you don't get a Churchill anymore. You get Cameron and those fucking dick wads. You say, <laughs> Je Jeff saying Churchill was gay, which I think that's cool. But Churchill, you're gonna get flack for that. Churchill, oh, could he suck a dick? Uh, <laughs> that's why he loves cigars. He was practicing the whole time. <laughs> They the, named the church a cigar after him because it was the most like a dick. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself and insert stereotype and about curtains or prosciutto or something like that. <laughs> yes. yes. I bracketed it. Yes. I'm not fucking... The whole, the whole yeah. quote was, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself and terrible Hello Dolly revivals. Right. <laughs> uh, 